Hello from Shraddha from Love Bites. Strawberries. I love these berries. This is a rose, pistachio and strawberry cake, half and half, between whole wheat flour and all-purpose flour. It's an eggless version. Strawberries go very well with scented rose petals. It gives the perfect juiciness of strawberries, beautiful smell of the rose and the nutty crunchiness from the pistachio. Very easy to make batter. It's really nice to serve it for your tea times or for dessert with a scoop of vanilla on the side or even a mango ice cream goes well. Give it a try, to like, to subscribe and click on the bell icon for notifications. Bye-bye. To make our strawberry, rose and pistachio cake, we're going to take some whole wheat flour, all-purpose flour and baking powder. We'll just sieve it. You can do this two, three times to make it lighter because there is whole wheat in this. We're going to take our pistas in another bowl and the flour which we had sieved, we'll just add a bit to it. We do this so that our ingredients don't settle to the bottom and gets distributed evenly in the cake. Chopped strawberries, again some flour, coat it and just keep it aside. Let's mix up wet ingredients. Here is some butter, I have melted it. To that we are going to add some buttermilk, vanilla, caster sugar. I didn't have caster, I am taking regular granulated sugar. Just to mix. It's well mixed. Now to this, we're going to add our flour which we sifted and kept. Now just a gentle mix, you don't want the air to be released. You want to keep the air for the cake to rise. Keep your ovens to heat at 170 degrees centigrade. Now to this, we're going to add our pistachios, our strawberries and some chopped fresh rose petals. If you don't have fresh, you can take dry. Try and buy organic if you can or from your own flower pots or garden if possible. Just a mix. The batter is feeling very thick. Because it is whole wheat, we might need extra liquids in this. Here, it's well mixed. Make sure there are not dry flour at the bottom of the bowl. The specks of white that you can see is the buttermilk solids. So let's take a well greased and dusted tin and we're going to add our batter to that. Make sure batter is a dropping consistency. Level out your cakes. So let's keep our batter, our cake tins in the oven at 180 degrees for 30 minutes or so or until well baked. Let's check, it's been 35 minutes in my oven. It's fluffed up quite a bit and it's done. So we're going to take it out and leave it to cool. It's feeling cool to touch, so let's unmold it. It's come out quite spongy, so now we'll just decorate it. Once the cake has totally cooled, we're going to take a stencil, place it on that, take a sieve, some icing sugar if you have, otherwise powdered sugar, and we're going to just form a design on this. It's very easy to do and looks very nice on tea time or sponge cakes. You don't have to go buy some expensive stencils, just make it at home or get it from your kiddos craft shops. Let's see. Now gently hold it in the corners and lift. See the pattern has come on it. It looks nice. So give it a try. Do like. It's a healthy cake and it's super delicious. It's a good blend of strawberry, rose petals and pistachio. Thank you.